Hello everyone, this is Luis from Founder Laser. Do you know what are the common types of the lasers and their functions? Now, let me show you the answers. Laser technology is a key player in modern manufacturing. Whether it's cutting, engraving, or marking, laser always offers a much efficiency and precision. Today, I'm going to briefly introduce these common types of lasers. They are CO2 gas tube, CO2 RF tube, blue diode, Q-switch fiber, MOPA fiber, and the UV lasers. The first one is the DC CO2 laser tube, also known as the CO2 gas tube laser. This laser uses a gas tube filled with the carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and the helium. It's popular because it's cost-effective and easy to use, making it a top choice for the beginners and small to mid-sized business. These lasers can work on various materials like wood, glass, clothes, leather, paper, plastic, resin, and stones. It's great for general cutting and engraving. While affordable, the CO2 gas tube laser also has a lower beam quality compared to the CO2 RF tube laser, which might limit its precision for more detailed work. Next is the CO2 RF tube laser, which uses the mental radio frequency technology. This gives it a finer and more stable laser output, making it ideal for application requiring high precision on the non-metallic materials. It can process the same materials as the glass tube laser, but with a higher accuracy. Although it's pricier, its longer lifespan and superior performance make it a better choice for the more demanding tasks. Third, the blue diode laser is popular because it's smaller and more affordable. With the shorter wavelengths, around 450 nanometers, it's especially good for processing certain metals like stainless steel and anodized aluminum. As well as most non-metallic materials, except for transparent and white acrylic. However, blue diode lasers are generally less efficient than CO2 lasers and have a shorter lifespan. Their beam quality can also be affected by the issues like a higher divergence. Fourth, Q-switch fiber lasers. Q-switch fiber lasers has a basic marking function, cheaper than MOPA fiber laser. It can achieve black and white coloring on the common metal materials such as brass, 304 stainless steel, and so on. What's more, it can also achieve stable and colorful etching in titanium plane and remove paint like coated mantle, painted ABS. MOPA fiber lasers are known for their versatility and high degree of flexibility. They can adjust the pulse width and frequency to achieve the Q-switch fiber laser effect, as well as backening the anodized lumen and stable color etching of stainless steel. Its etching is more brilliant in color, finer, flatter, and with less underline. Six, the UV lasers. The UV lasers operate with a short wavelength, typically around 355 nanometers. This allowed it to perform extremely precise marking and process on heat-sensitive materials. The UV lasers' cold processing features ensure minimal thermal damage. The materials can be processed are metal, plastic, glass, ceramics, and silicone wafers. The UV laser's precision and minimal thermal impact make it indispensable for high detailed marking, such as in electronics and medical device manufacturing. Choosing the right laser source depends on your specific processing needs. CO2 gas tube lasers are great for non-metallic materials processing. CO2 RF tube lasers offer higher precision for the non-metallic materials. The blue diode laser are smaller size and much cheaper. The Q-switch and the MOPA fiber lasers provide a high precision marking with the unique features. And the UV lasers are a match for fine processing on the delicate materials. Understanding this laser type will help you make the best choice for your crafty needs. Found laser can provide various types of laser machine except for the blue diode. Stay tuned for our upcoming videos where we will dive into the details. Remember to follow us for the latest updates. See you next time. Bye.